efforts, Gabe's, over the past few years especially, you, you've had some success. How much does that help you for a moment like tomorrow? And, and then on the second part of that, with some conferences moving to 20 and 22 game regular seasons, do you fear that scheduling that those games is going to become more difficult for a school like yours? Yeah, I do. Jeff, I'm not sure that that, that, that bigger schedule with the, with the Power Five is going to last. They did it for RPI net for those ramifications, for that, you know, pop uh, in those numbers. And I don't think those numbers are improving. I don't. Um, maybe I'm wrong. You know, time will tell after a couple of years. Um, but so much emphasis put now on strength of schedule. Uh, I'm, I'm not having any trouble yet in getting those games. Maybe not be the games I want. You know, I'm going to go to Duke next year. Um, but I do like those games, and I do like challenging our team in November and December, and I think that pays huge dividends once you get into league play. Uh, we may get our ears pinned back tomorrow, but it will not be because my team is intimidated. You know, we went to Fog Allen Fieldhouse. We had North Carolina at home. Um, Oklahoma, uh, very, very good. So, you know, there is a method to the madness. I mean, I do um, – our non-league schedule is always really hard. Uh, we were we – had the opportunity – uh, we had nine non-league games at home, which is uh, – can be hard for teams at, uh, at our level in our league. Um, but, um, yeah, we do that for a number of reasons. Let's go here on the fourth row, and we'll get to you next, sir. Coach, I apologize if you were asked this earlier, but from the time you've been there, how much sort of less obscure is the identity of, of Wofford now than it was when you first got there? And then as a follow-up, when you're recruiting a kid, assuming it's not in the immediate Spartanburg area, how often when you say, I'm the coach at Wofford, do you have to basically say where Wofford is? I came there in 89, I can remember vividly. A uh, good friend of mine, also an assistant, I can't tell you how many times it's before answering machines and cell phones that we'd have to spell our name. And um, I remember calling, uh, you know, a school in Charlotte, uh, you know, like, for God's sakes, you're an hour away. You've never heard of Wofford, really? Um, of course, I say that in 88, I came down to interview for the job, and I'd never heard of Wofford. The NCAA tournament and this platform has helped, uh, you know, our identity, um, you know, what our program has accomplished over the last uh, 10 years. We've gotten a lot better, um, and especially in the, you know, areas that we've recruited really, really hard, the great state of Minnesota, Chicago, Illinois, uh, Madison, uh, in the, uh, Wisconsin, um, our name recognition has gotten better and better and better, and certainly this experience will help uh, even uh, even more. Uh, I'm still trying. I had to correct a gentleman out here in the hallway. If I hear one of you say Woford, I'm going to come after you. It's Wofford, Wofford, all right? It's spelled W-O-F-F-O-R-D. It's, it's uh, pronounced W-A-F-F-O-R-D, isn't it, Todd? Wofford. Um, we're making great progress, uh, but still work to be uh, work to be done. Next question for the Wofford head coach here on the left, please. <laughs> coach, some of the players spoke to um, also about non-conference, kind of molding them for the matchup tomorrow. Just talk about everyone's mentality, the attitudes of the players as a whole right now. Um, this is a different deal tomorrow. We're playing the Wildcats of Kentucky, and I can't wait. And I have such great admiration for Coach Calipari and what he's done at um, UMass and Memphis and now here at uh, Kentucky. It'll be a wonderful day for our uh, team and, you know, our, uh, our players. Um, I can't imagine a team more confident, and that's earned. We haven't lost since December 19th. And of the four losses, they're all playing in the NCAA tournament this weekend. And I know North Carolina, Oklahoma, Oklahoma was up big. I think they all four have won their first round game. 
Um, and those were all good games. We were tied or trailed by a couple at the eight-minute mark at Kansas, and the wheels came off. The wheels can come off and have come off for a lot of people in that building. Um, you know, so, uh, again, they may, black, they may whip, whip our tail. Uh, it will not be because my kids are scared. Uh, they'll, they'll come over ready to fight. Let's go in the back right and then to the aisle and then to you next. Hey, Coach, Adam Zagoria, New York hey, Times. Adam. How, How are you doing, I enjoy buddy? Enjoy your work. Thanks, man. Uh, so you, go, you mentioned your respect for Coach Calipari. Obviously, they have a bunch of NBA prospects. Yeah. I think they have three guys projected in the current draft per ESPN. How much of an opportunity is that for your fellas if they play well to – impress some NBA scouts, get on the radar, help themselves long-term? They, they understand. We haven't said anything about it. You think Fletcher McGee, you know, uh, you know, understands that, embraces that? You're darn right. Cameron Jackson's on a lot of uh, people's radar. Size is not ideal. I, I do think that he'll make a lot of money in Europe uh, if he chooses to do that, and I think he will. Um, you know, again, Adam, I, I've said before, this is the NCAA tournament. This is the greatest tournament on earth. And to uh, perform and play against uh, P.J. Washington, I hope. Um, Reed Travis, uh, play well, uh, you know, and uh, play a good ball game certainly uh, would, uh, would, help, uh, would help those guys immensely. Let's go in the aisle here and then you next, sir. Daryl Bird with the Cats Paws in Lexington, Kentucky. I wonder, you talk about playing some of these other big programs. How much of the mystique does it kind of take out of tomorrow's game having to face a blue blood like Kentucky? You know what? I don't, I don't know the answer to that, Dale, right? I don't know the answer to that. I know this. It doesn't take any mystique away from, you know, my feelings going into it. And I go way back. I remember sitting and listening to that AM uh, uh, radio station you know, through the Carolinas and Virginia and Kentucky, West Virginia, and listen to K. Wood Ledford and uh, that 78 team. And I mean, those were great, great, our great, great memories. You know, to strap it on tomorrow and walk out there and, and face uh, UK, I mean, that's a, that's a highlight. And that'll be a highlight for my team. That'll be something, you know, they'll never forget. Let's go on the right side here, then back left next. For the people who haven't seen your team play or have just seen them play a little bit and think you're just a bunch of little guys who fire up three-point shots, wh what can you say about your team in terms of why they're here today? I've said it a thousand times, and I, 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 I believe it with every fiber in my body. We've got a really, really good team. Uh, we do have a lot of guys that can crank it. We also have a young man in the post, and Cameron Jackson can score on a lot of people, and he's done it repeatedly uh, throughout his career. Uh, we had a kid just kind of come into his own this year. He's, um, he's not going to score a lot, but he's going to block a shot. He's going to rebound the ball, and Keve Aluma come off the bench with a couple of kids that, um, you know, uh, have helped us uh, win a number of games. Um, you know, I, I hate to get into all this, but – you know, we are ranked nationally for a purpose. You know, that net, that, that evaluation tool, whatever, that we were 13th or 12th in the country. Um, you know, so that's not, you know, you guys just throwing numbers out there. That's, I mean, that's where it is. Our analytics and metrics and all that stuff um, are, uh, are really, really good. So, you know. Back left. Please. And then we'll to the aisle next. Coach, I get the feeling that uh, you don't really embrace the small school versus big school. I hate it. That enrollment has nothing to do with the roster. What are your thoughts What's on that? What's UK have? 35,000 undergraduate students. We got 1,600. So we got really good players. Kentucky's got really good players. I mean, let's, let, let's go play. Um, I, um, I, I tire of uh, the mid-major and the little guy and all this stuff. Come on, man. Um, you know? Uh, we have good players uh, that uh, are serious and, and um, you know, love competing. Um, 
and they're all going to graduate and they're all going to be productive citizens and um, yeah that that wears on me a little bit Todd could you tell let's go to Daryl here on the aisle please Daryl yes Daryl got it coach one of the coaches that came through Rupp Arena this year, I believe it may have been North Dakota, said he went to Lowe's and bought snow shovels to replicate the length of Kentucky. I wonder how unique is that challenge going to be compared to other teams you've faced? Yeah, no, I mean, I was just in awe when I saw him yesterday. Uh, yeah, I made, the mis- I made the mistake before our game. I went out and watched him play Abilene Christian a little bit. I wish I hadn't have done that. Goodness gracious, they're just enormous. They're not going to do anything different. You know, we played North Carolina the last two years, and um, – you know, it's who you're competing against. You're not going to – you can't do anything differently offensively. We are who we are. Uh, we're not going to do anything defensively or offensively or defensively. Um, you know, we're pretty locked uh, locked into what uh, we hope to do. Um, you know, certainly uh, more challenging with, uh, you know, with, with their size and three size on the perimeter is impressive. And Harrow's a two-guard at 6'5". Hagen's a really nice looking young man as a uh, as a lead guard. So, you know, um I was concerned about Powell and, and uh Kale. Those guys last night looked like boxers, you know, but uh you know, figure it out. Uh, let it rip. We've got time for a couple of more. Any other questions for uh, the coach of the Wofford Terriers? All right, coach, good luck to you. Thanks everybody. That'll do it for the press conference schedule today. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Thank you.